It's been so long since I've met someone that makes me feel this way. Makes me smile, and that's hard to do. I don't think it's something. After, after, after the proposal, after we, I said yes, and like from then until now, I feel like I'm more convinced that he's the one for me. Guy with you in the world, mm, but we can't be together. Can really be friends, but we can't be lovers, and we can't pretend. I've never felt so happy before, uh, you know, even after such a long period of time. At least to me, to me, being together for three, almost four years is a long period of time. Uh, so that's that's how I know, I guess. He's a lucky guy. I know it's not uh, traditional or customary for the bride and groom to come on stage straight away to you know, say something to you guys. We thought that was the only thing or the least we could do to thank you guys for all coming. We know that many of you have come from very far. I know people who come as far as Canada, people from Hong Kong who fly in just this morning and are flying out tomorrow morning. Uh, thank you for all of you for coming. Today, you all have also touched our lives and we've made a mark in our lives by coming here tonight. Thank you. For you, Mr. Tia Yu Tiam Tek, Mr. Audrey, we think linked to be a lawful wedded one? Yes, I do. Uh, will you, Miss uh, Audrey Hui Feng Ling, take Mr. Tia Yu Tiam to be a lawful wedded husband? I do. The thing I like is about like, her values. I think she shares very similar values to me. You know, um, you know, we both like um, love our parents. We both, you know, do a lot of things to take care of our parents, and we're, we're both committed to take our parents even to their old age. I think she's a very kind heart, and I like that about her because I think I got a bit of that from my mom. So you know, we enjoy going to doing stuff like we enjoy going to orphanages, we enjoy going to give away food to the homeless, you know, we enjoy you know, doing different stuff, you know, and um, you know, helping other people. So, you know, that's I guess that's the second thing I like about her, you know, her heart. I will catch you if you fall. I'm just gonna love you like the woman I love. Sometimes the world can make you feel you're not a welcome anymore. You let yourself get mad And in those times when you stop loving The woman I adore Yeah, I guess the third thing is that I like that she's very You know, she, she finds happiness in the simplest things to be my best friend, my lover, the father of my children, and my long lover that husband. My message to her is that I know that we will um, you know, it's going to be tough. You know, marriage is never easy. It's going to be something that we have to work on, and uh, we'll both make mistakes along the way. You know, but I think you know my hope and my wish is that we'll both be able to be committed enough, you know, and love each other enough to actually see it through for all these things. Uh.
very both two very old people in our 80s and 90s you know that still are as happy together as we are now back then I was so young I had a lot of dreams and one of my dreams was to eventually marry a very very hot girl but my father I want us to grow together, but I don't want our relationship to change because I think that right now it's quite perfect. And maybe have kids now. Try to work harder and be more productive for your parents are getting old and we are feeling quite lonely. So you catch the hint. To Audrey, I would say welcome to the family. And to Audrey's parents, Mr. and Mrs. Wee. Don't worry, we will look after Audrey well and treat her as one of us. I told my father this, and my father said, Tim, you don't just marry a girl for being hot. Marriage is a partnership of life. In life, you will face an adventure of ups and downs. And for that, you need to have somebody who can stand by you and live to you. The only part that was missing in my imagination was the person standing next to me. And now I see her and she's absolutely beautiful.